Hey guys, what's up? It's All Row News TV, and today I'm going to show you how to put in a new hard drive, or just, you know, add a new hard drive pretty much. What you'll need is a hard drive, a SATA cable, and a power plug. Alright, exactly like that, by the way. So, first thing you do is you find what bay you want. There are several bays up here near the, near the CD players, or the CD drive, and then you have a bay down there. It all depends on the computer, really. But yeah. So, first thing you do is you put um, put your hard drive in the correct bay. Go on. Once the hard drive's in the bay, attach your SATA cable or SATA cable. Now it's really, really hold on, let me get some better lighting. Alright, that should be good. Alright, so it's really might want to run it through here just so it doesn't, you know, if that happens. Go through. You might want to clip it into the blue things. I don't know. It all depends. It doesn't matter to your preference. But, I don't know if you can see. Uh, I can't really see that. If you can, there's a blue, and then, you know, there's also a black slot. Yeah, that might be better. There. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So, here are the two slots for your SATA cable. But there are more. Your computer might even have more, but there's definitely two. And once again, it's really easy to clip it in wrong, so just clip it in. There you go. And then you can, once, like the blue thing I was talking about is, you put it right, sort of, you sort of clip it in here, so, you know, it's a good wire path. Then, you take your power thing, <laughs> take this, your power plug, and you hook it up. All right, make sure it's hooked in. That's not too far. All right, clip it in. All right. And so it should be set up now. Also, um, you can also use the ribbons for it, as I don't either, I don't remember if it's either the power or not. It all depends on your hard drive. And then you just, uh, that's pretty much it. You then just close up your computer, and done. That's how you add a new hard drive. This has been All Around News TV. Peace. Um, also, by the way, uh, do you, I'm not responsible if you screw up your computer, but I don't think you can. It's a simple path. So, all right. See you guys. All right, guys. So, um, if you added a second hard drive, then and it's not showing up. Here's how you uh, get it formatted, I guess, and have it show up. So. You go to right click computer, you go to manage. Alright, this takes a while to boot up because of my computer. Alright, once uh, computer management goes up, you uh, go to storage and then you go to disk management. No matter what, you have to just get computer management. I don't know about XP or Vista because I'm running Windows 7. Alright. So I don't have another drive, but you're gonna find your drive. So let's say this is this is my one of my drives, and this is the second hard drive. So you're gonna go to right click, and you go to change drive letter and paths. Okay, you're gonna click it, and you're gonna you know. Okay, so you know you're gonna click that drive. You're gonna go add, and then yours will be different, but you'll have to you'll just assign it. And then whatever letter you want, if you want C, B, Z, I don't know, I don't give a shit. But anyway, so, um, then you would press OK, and you're done. But I don't have a second hard drive, so I can't do that. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you do it. Um, this has been All Around News TV. Peace.